From a backyard sculpting studio to his red carpet walk at a gallery opening recently, Fred Briscoe is carving his way into the art gallery world one amazing sculpture at a time. You might look at it like this for a while and then spin it and see something different. This month, he's featured in the chic new Alexander Salazar Fine Art. The gallery just opened at 7th and Broadway in downtown San Diego, and Fred is one of several local artists displaying work, like this Redwood piece. He talked to Art Pulse TV about it before the grand opening. It just all seems to come to the point, and you know, you can get philosophical about it and say this is what, uh, what we are about, this is, this is our trajectory, this is what we're here to do, make the ascent. When we first met Fred half a year ago, he was beginning his ascent, piecing his career together, and just starting a mentorship in the San Diego Fine Arts Society's mentor program with mentor Yoram Gill and executive director April Game. I feel like what is in place now, the momentum of it is not stoppable. I absolutely give a ton of credit to April and the, and the mentoring program in, in general. And, and it just seems like getting the work done, pieces have fallen into place. And this has been the kind of the culmination of that. In Fred's work, there is play, mystery, and adventure, as well as life lessons for all of us about searching for the good and being comfortable with the journey into the unknown. I feel like something good's gonna come out of it when I put the chisel to the stone and, and it'll be a process. It will um, take time. I might have to set it aside and go do something else, look at it and, and you know, say, oh, and then go, like, go draw a line and go, oh, there it is. Got it. I love, love, love this piece. Maybe I'm, I'm, maybe I'm a little biased because I'm from Texas. <laughs> this is made out of Texas limestone. From the original, a mold is made, and then it's a lost wax process where uh, a wax is poured into the mold, and then the mold is removed and then a shell is built around the wax, and then the wax is melted out, and the molten bronze replaces where the wax was. And then the shell is chipped off, and voila. There's kind of a trust in, in it. There's the unexpected. There's a sense of play about it. The unexpected is it, because you don't know where it's going, so it's an adventure. I'm kind of exploring. <laughs> and it's kind of like, okay, Stone, where are we going? I don't like any sense of it just being routine that I, I know where I'm going when I start. That's not fun. You can demonstrate your craft that way, but it's not art. This piece, um, he is actually allowing me to offer for a collector, and that's pretty cool because um, usually an artist will keep the original for their own collection and only offer a copy. Whether art collectors take home the original or a copy of his limited edition work, Fred hopes it will keep the mystery alive. If they take a look at it and they go, oh wow, that's really cool, I like it, well, let's take that home. You know, and, and that's all they ever get out of it, but if they, if they can live with it and they can see something a year later or five years later and go, wow, I never saw it that way before, that's what I'm looking for. That's what 3D is about. In downtown San Diego, I'm Phoebe Chong Chua for Art Pulse TV.